Nobody wins when the family feels <laughs> Take my thug from me. Deep blow, I'm sorry, bro, cause I wanna live for you. It hurt my heart when I see you on the news. I started crying when I got that bad news. Police yeah. are investigating a deadly shooting out of Florida City. Officers responded around 6 last night to the area of Northwest 14th Street and Northwest First Court. When officers arrived, there was no sign of that victim, but they say that the man showed up to Homestead Hospital moments later and was flown to Jackson's Ryder Trauma Center. Police say that sadly the victim died during surgery. The Miami-Dade Police Department's Homicide Bureau is now investigating. I'm telling you, now you're going to be okay. I'm like, you're going to be okay. It's like three stories in one today, fam. Imagine thinking you're a problem. Terrorized in the city, you get arrested. And while you're arrested, somebody take the life of your father. But imagine thinking you want to let your kids fight, square it out, and come to a peaceful resolution at the end. These youngers ain't fighting no more. They shooting first, asking questions later. Imagine having a school fight, and in the process, your dad gets shot and take his very last breath on camera. Fam, all three scenarios play a part in this one unfortunate situation we'll later discuss down there in Florida City. Fam, today we talk about a man who was gunned down in front of his daughter. Some would say while letting his daughter fight. Some would say while trying to make sure no one else would break in. But nonetheless, a teenager who's still on the run who we'll later discuss gunned him down. Today we talk about who this man is while paying our respects and giving love and condolences to him and his family. We also talk about one of his sons who's currently an inspiring rapper out of Florida, his family, and also the suspect who's on the run. But before we go over this one, I want you guys to remember, I don't give you no ain't. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll jump right to it. Family Stevenson Leroy, 23 years old, an inspiring rapper who go by the name BG Peanut. He from 15. <laughs> locked up twice in six months with his latest arrest happening may 29th 2024 he was arrested for being a felon with a concealed firearm and having a switch there's a man known to carry firearms and according to his own music go spin away from me ain't gonna see my dog again i'm gonna make them niggas pay for that shit ain't gonna never stop sliding why you niggas be hating on me tell them niggas stop flogging i ain't doing no fake i ain't doing no friend any niggas be hiding only two days from a year from the day he was last arrested, his good friend slash brother had lost his life. May he rest in peace. I love condolences to his family. BG Peanut put him in a lot of his songs. Daddy, we about to be rich, baby. I'll be dead, I'm gonna never see deep blow again. They love me hard. I ain't had to take my thug from me. Deep blow, I'm sorry, bro, cause I don't want to live for you. It hurt my heart. Now, while BG Peanut is currently incarcerated, his dad would be in attendance after his sister would get into a school fight on the school bus that led to their neighborhood. His dad's name was Johnny Lewis Stevenson Jr., a.k.a. Bobo. Bobo was known in Florida City, a man known to stay out the way and get his money. Bobo 14 kids was a young girl who go by the name of Soraya Stevenson. She allegedly got into a fist fight while on the bus that led to her bus stop. The bus ended up stopping September 17, 2024 at around 5.31 p.m. in Florida City, Florida, near Northwest 14th Street and Northwest 1st Avenue. As mentioned, the link in the bio for the full video for you guys to check out after this. But after the fist fight, the same young man tried to get in between. A man who was a brother of the young girl 
that Bobo daughter was fighting. Now, according to the footage, Bobo tried to stop that young man from getting in between, and that's when suddenly he was shot. A short time later, 47-year-old Johnny Lewis Stevenson had arrived at Homestead Hospital, where he was airlifted to Jackson South Medical Center. Stevenson died during surgery, according to authorities. May he rest in peace and love and condolences to his family. Six, a fight between young girls ends with the death of a man who police say was shot while trying to break it up. The deadly scene unfolded in Florida City. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor joins us live from the scene. And Yvonne, we're hearing from that man's daughter for the first time. And that man's daughter is a teenager. And we've also learned that she is one of 14 children of the victim. This girl is 15 years of age. By the way, we also have footage of the violent fight that started inside of a bus, but we're gonna start with what this teenage girl told us in front of her family. Let's take a listen. I see my dad in the corner of my eye. I see him fall. I wasn't, I wasn't really thinking. I see him on the floor. I, I put pressure on his stomach. My mom, she comes to put pressure on his stomach. I run towards them in the house because they all ran in the house. I'm like, no, this we not done, no. I'm like, y'all just shot him, no, this, we not done. So I'm trying to run in their house. My cousin, she come and grab me from um, going in their house. She runs to get the car and we rush him to the hospital. And this is the fight that broke out on Tuesday afternoon inside of a school bus. The video of the attack seems to go on for over one minute and then the footage cuts to the area of Northwest 14th Street and First Court in Florida City. Another fight starts here. Police say at least one shot was fired. Investigators identified the victim as 47-year-old Johnny Lewis Stevenson, who they say tried to stop the fight. He was taken to Baptist Hospital and then to Jackson South Hospital where he was declared dead. A resident also told us that police were in this area investigating today before noon. But when I got off of work this morning, I saw that there were like five detectives, still police cars, green and white. And I thought it was just probably somebody, you know, in the neighborhood got into it with each other and it led to that, but I didn't think it started with kids. Also late this afternoon, Miami-Dade School Board uh, released a statement saying that they are aware of the video clip involving students from Homestead Senior High School engaging in an altercation on a school bus. The school's administration is reviewing the matter and school, uh, the students will, that were involved will be disciplined. Police are urging anybody who knows something, saw something or heard something about this case to call Crime Stoppers of Miami-Dade. The number is 305-471-TIPS. Coming up at 7 p.m., we will have more from that girl, the daughter of the victim, and another family member who has spoken to CBS News Miami only. We are live in Florida City. Now, the next day, authorities will have a suspect in mind, a man who's now to this day, where this moment of me recording this video is still on the run. He's 22 years old. He go by the name of Kentarian Lamar Cross, and as mentioned, he was the sister to the girl who was in a fight with Bobo Dora. That's a very unfortunate situation all across the board. Two people essentially lost their life. That man and this young man to the system once he's apprehended. Then you got to think about the young man who in jail, Bobo's son. You pray him come out and crash out. Then you got 14 kids who left without their dad. I pray for them nonetheless. Fam, you're talking about a high school fight from a school bus leading up to a man losing his life. Sick, as we mentioned. The suspect is not apprehended. Once he is, I'll make sure I give guys an update. But fam, for now, this was the story of a man who was in attendance of his daughter getting into a fight. And I'm assuming, according to the footage, allegedly trying to stop anyone from jumping in and was immediately shot in the process. Y'all let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.